Will we find extraterrestrial life before GTA 6? The James Webb Telescope has confirmed that molecules exist in the atmosphere of the exoplanet K2-18b that are produced exclusively by living organisms on Earth. Astronomers say that this is by far the strongest evidence of extraterrestrial life we have found so far, and that the alien world could even be teeming with inhabitants. If this groundbreaking assumption is confirmed, it would be nothing less than the greatest sensation in the history of space exploration. But what exactly are the signs of life that K2-18b has given off? What do we know about this planet? And could it be that it has already produced beings that are technologically far superior to us? Be sure to stay tuned until the end to find out all the details of this exciting discovery. It's a question that is probably as old as humanity itself. Are we alone in the universe? Could it really be that Earth is the only celestial body in the entire cosmos that has paved the way for life? It certainly cannot be said that we have not tried to attract attention to ourselves. After all, we have repeatedly attempted to send messages to extraterrestrials with the Voyager Golden Records and the Pioneer plaques. But unfortunately, the hoped for response has not yet come. Fortunately, however, we are not completely doomed to twiddle our thumbs and wait for a response from our unknown contemporaries. After all, with technological marvels such as the James Webb Telescope, we are now able to actively search for extraterrestrial signs of life in space. While one of the main tasks of the $10 billion device is to search for the oldest luminous objects and galaxies in the cosmos, Webb is also focusing its sharp infrared gaze on the atmospheres of exoplanets to investigate their potential habitability. And in fact, the most powerful space telescope ever built has already scored a remarkable hit in 2023. More precisely, a hit that goes by the name of K2-18b and is located about 124 light years from Earth. Basically, the planet, which is about 2.6 times the radius of Earth, not only moves in the habitable zone of its home system, but is also suspected of being a Hycean water world covered by a global ocean. And since water in its permanently liquid form is, to our understanding, a fundamental pillar for the development of Earth-like life, experts hope to uncover a red-hot lead there. And that is exactly what Webb did. K2-18b made headlines two years ago when Webb found the first signs of dimethyl sulfide here, a sulfur compound that was immediately discussed as a potential biosignature of extraterrestrial organisms. And that was no coincidence, of course. After all, dimethyl sulfide, or DMS for short, is produced exclusively by living organisms on our blue home planet. We simply do not know of any abiotic synthesis pathway by which this molecule could be produced. But what exactly is DMS? Well, to understand this, we need to take a little detour to the beach. In detail, the molecule is produced by marine plankton and during the decomposition of organic substances. And it's responsible, among other things, for the typical smell of the sea air. Returning from the sea to the vast expanses of space, however, we realize that Webb's discovery in 2023 had a major drawback. On the one hand, the DMS signal from K2-18b was not particularly strong. And on the other hand, it was only detectable when the data was analyzed in a very specific way. This was because the potential biosignature was identified by Webb's near-infrared spectrometer, NearSpec, which unfortunately overlapped so strongly with the methane signal that the values of the two molecules could not be clearly separated. The researchers then discovered in their models that, under certain conditions, biogenic sulfur gases can indeed accumulate to detectable concentrations on hydrogen-rich planets. But that was only theory. However, in order to put K2-18b to the practical test, a new investigation by the James Webb Telescope was essential. This time, Webb did not use NearSpec, but the MIRI spectrometer, and it uncovered something that could mark an absolute turning point in astronomical research. Have we just discovered extraterrestrial life? While the spectral line detected by NearSpec was still visible at a wavelength of 3.4 micrometers, MIRI operates in the mid-infrared range between 6 and 12 micrometers. And this is precisely the point because, on paper, 
Dimethyl sulfide and several other potential biosignature gases should produce even clearer signatures in this wavelength range than in the near-infrared. And indeed, Webb's recent analysis revealed clear peaks in the range between 6.8 and 8 micrometers and between 9 and 11 micrometers. Subsequent comparison with the expected spectral lines for 20 different molecules again showed that there is no doubt that the signatures detected must come from dimethyl sulfide and or dimethyl disulfide. Niku Madhusudan from the University of Cambridge, who led the study, says, Our data confirm the clear presence of only two molecules, DMS and DMDS. Even more decisive, however, is the high significance of the observation. The bottom line is that the probability that the spectral signature actually originates from DMS or DMDS is 3.2 standard deviations this time. For the evidence of either DMS or DMDS, it's also around 3 sigma, which, conversely, means that the chance of the spectral peaks being due to pure coincidence or measurement errors is just 0.3%. In other words, we now know of a celestial body that is 99.7% composed of one or more gases that, to our knowledge, can only be produced by living organisms. In concrete terms, this means that the new measurement data suggests that extraterrestrial life could actually exist on K2-18b. Furthermore, the remarkable intensity of the spectral signature also indicates a very high concentration of biogenic molecules. In the atmosphere of K2-18b, this concentration is over 10 parts per million, around a thousand times higher than the corresponding value in Earth's atmosphere. Madhusudan explains this finding as follows. These amounts indicate very strong biological activity on the planet. This is consistent with what has been predicted for such high seeing worlds. And that is exactly what we have now observed. Given what we know about this planet so far, the ocean of this water world could be teeming with life. Why the experts remain cautious. So can we finally put the alien question to rest? Has the question mentioned at the beginning whether we are really alone in the universe now been answered once and for all with no? Well, not quite yet, because the leading researchers emphasize that a single measurement is far from being concrete proof. Madhusudan says, it's important that we remain deeply skeptical of our own results. Only through repeated verification can we reach the point where we are certain. That's how science works. We must not forget that Webb's observation does not yet have official discovery status. This is only granted when the significance reaches or exceeds 5 sigma. This means that the probability of mere coincidence must not exceed 0.00006%. So will it be several more years before we unlock the secrets of life on K2-18b? Not necessarily, because the required significance could actually be achieved very soon. In detail. The threshold could already be reached by observing a few more transits of the water world in front of its host star. That would only require around 8 to 24 hours of additional observation time with the James Webb Telescope. But even if the existence of DMS and or DMDS on K2-18b is confirmed beyond doubt, that alone is not enough. Although, as mentioned above, the molecules on Earth are produced exclusively by living organisms, this does not mean that there could not be abiotic formation pathways for them. In fact, astronomers have already conducted initial investigations into this, but so far, they have not been able to find a chemical reaction that could produce these gases on K2-18b without the involvement of organisms. Despite this, the researchers point out that it cannot be ruled out that such a reaction may still be discovered in the future. At the same time, however, the experts are also aware of the significance of confirming an extraterrestrial biosignature. After all, we are talking about something that would fundamentally change our understanding of the universe. An unprecedented sensation of historic proportions. Madhusudan is also aware of this potential, saying, Decades in the future, we may look back on this moment and see that it was decisive. This could be the turning point at which the fundamental question of whether we are alone in the universe can suddenly be answered. And if we just entertain the exciting idea that K2-18b really has already given birth to living beings, what do they actually look like? Are we dealing with sea creatures reminiscent of their earthly counterparts? Could the Hycean world 
be home to a highly advanced underwater civilization that is technologically far superior to us Earthlings? Well, aside from the fact that actual confirmation is still pending, we simply cannot answer such detailed questions at this point. In principle, however, it's advisable to start small, as Madhusudan explains. The basic assumption is simple microbial life. However, this basic assumption is being heavily questioned by other researchers, because the whole truth is that some scientists are following the current headlines with extreme skepticism. These include David Kipping from Columbia University in New York, who points to a study from last year to remind us that DMS is also found on comets. In the same breath, another U.S. research group recently published an alternative explanation for high DMS concentrations. It suggests that K2-18b may not be a water planet conducive to life at all, but rather a cosmic furnace covered in magma. And so it is that one of the study's authors, Christopher Glenn, states that, quote, Nothing is proven until ET waves at us. And before we wave goodbye, feel free to click on the subscribe button. Just press the thumbs up and subscribe to never miss another video from us. We'll see you soon.